here's an extension onto that question um, by William. It's related. He asks, uh, can Glenn and John say whether they believe that, practically speaking, hip-hop culture music has had a net positive or a negative effect on America? What are the shared values of hip-hop culture and artists? What effect have those values had on children, adolescents, and young adults, regardless of race? There's that old question, is hip hop bad? Remember that from the aughts? Yeah. I always thought it was a symptom. And Glenn, I'll leave it to you, but the reason that a music that was that violent, and it isn't anymore, it's getting to be an old conversation, but if you're talking about 50 Cent and all that, a music that was that violent, and frankly, that misogynist, that openly misogynist, was thought of as an exciting, authentic statement of Black authenticity, rather than something marginal that people kind of kept in the basement, like the old toasts that got that violent and misogynist. Nobody was shouting those things through megaphones. When you start shouting that kind of toast through a megaphone to a beat, it's because of a sense that only so much can be expected of us. And that is what the gangster rap thing was when i'll give it to you i i think i agree i i think it's a fact and not cause i think we're seeing it's downstream from the things that we actually care about and uh they're acting out a certain trope or or type in this uh posturing and this uh, faux violence which did sometimes spill over into real life uh the the people who are consuming it are you know it's a kind of I almost said pornography. I don't mean anything sexual, although the sexual content is not not nothing. But it, it's a kind of uh, uh, exaggerated, hyperbolic, uh, kind of cartoon-like projection of some stuff that's subterranean in the culture. And, and I would be quick to point out that it's while the artists are disproportionately black in the media the 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 forms you know the beats the uh, the aesthetic uh comes out of uh you know black urban uh culture language uh so on um the the industry has been influenced by the market and the market is predominantly white and uh the dynamics that are going on with white adolescent rebellion and all that kind of stuff is certainly got to be a part of the story. So these various subcultures are interacting with each other. In terms of the benefit, I, you know, <laughs> this is back to the question about aging gracefully. <laughs> I mean, a lot of this stuff sounds like, you know, it's very uh, base. It, it, it's, it's not elevated. It, it's not yeah, I have a, a student uh, whom you've met, John, who's a classical musician. He's a decent kid. He's a very smart kid. And I mean, he has a problem with hip hop. And he, you know, his, his problem is that it's not great music. He actually has the bravery as a white guy to say that? He, oh, this kid. <laughs> wow. Yeah, he's, he, he does. He says, I mean, he says, come on, give me a break. It's trivial. It's, it's like it's, it's, it's uh, you know, you're painting in one dimension here. You're not using all the colors. You're not, you, you know, you got one thing to say. You got boom, 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 boom. You, you don't have any complexity of this. You know, I mean, he will be argued with and was argued with in the class that I, <laughs> that I was, uh, a seminar that I was overseeing where this issue came up. We're reading Alan Bloom. You know, closing of the American mind. You know, Alan Bloom has a chapter on music. On music, right? Yeah. yeah, and you know, and all of it is it's it's all miming sex. I remember him saying the rhythm. Yeah, is and it's sexual, and it's, right. it's beneath us. It does not appeal to the higher part of our spirit. This kind of idea, and I think that can be precious. That could just be too precious for words. And it was said about some of the stuff that we now think of as classics at the time that it was coming along. But I also think there's something to it. Wet ass pussy. I mean, there's, there's, I don't, I don't see any way of making that anything Damn other it. than Glenn, brilliant that, and base. That's, that's you. Why did you have to say that? They're gonna clip I, that. <laughs> oh, I, well, but yes. It, which would only underscore my point, right? Yes. I did not, I did not originate that. Okay, I'm just reporting. I'm just reporting. 
<laughs> you know, I think um, your student, we're referring to somebody we, folks, we know this guy. He's 21, brilliant, charming, great pianist, um, great, probably many things. Yeah. I suspect maybe I'm getting him wrong. There's some hip hop that has a certain amount of complexity, at least enough that keeps me listening. You know, there's like, for example, a lot of the work, as much of an idiot as he is personally, a lot of Kanye West's work, it's got complexity. However, there is an issue. I mean, what he's probably referring to is that ultimately you're talking about the same thing happening over and over again. It's the beat and you've got riffs and you're going to hear it once and you're going to think that's great. But then you're going to have to hear it 17 times and it's kind of narcotic that you can move your body to it. And that is not as complex as Sibelius. That is true. That is, it's not as complex as John Coltrane. That is true. My issue with hip hop is that um, the main element, main things, kind of like with Indian cuisine, you've got to have your garam masala. With hip hop, there's Kalafasana came up with this, the confrontational cadence. So whatever it is, it has to be probably a guy and whatever he's talking about, he can be talking about he can be talking about Buddha. He can be talking about how it felt to have, you know, the first time he held somebody's hand. He can be talking about Robin Redbreasts. Whatever he's talking about, it's got to be in this cadence that sounds like he could beat you up. And most of it has got to be bragging. Even if it's the conscious stuff where you're giving advice, it has to be, well, if you don't know this, then I don't know what's wrong with you. Uh, 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 uh. That confrontational cadence, that. Uh, uh is one five hundredth of what a human being is. And so I've never said this in public before, but, you know, all music has its limits. You know, little Mozart, you know, there are a lot of depths to Mozart, but there's a certain wallpaper aspect, and I'm saying this is somebody who teaches Mozart. I get it, <laughs> but Mozart has his limits. Same thing with hip-hop, the confrontational cadence. I get weary of listening to a man brag over a beat, and that is kind of basic to almost all of it no matter how varied it gets, no matter how conscious it gets, to use that old term. I get that. Yeah, it gets a little tiresome, but that is true of so many musics. I mean, I'm the Beach Boys, as good as they were, wrote the same song over and over again, too. And I love the Beach Boys, you know. I'm not a musician, not by a long shot, but when I ever, whenever I go to the symphony orchestra and I hear Beethoven or Brahms or Bach uh, or Wagner, yeah, you know, it's a transporting experience. There's there's just a lot going on. There's a lot of texture. There's a lot of richness. There's a lot of depth. There's a lot of mood, movement. There's a lot of there's a lot of virtuosity in the musicianship that's being exhibited before me. That you know, I, I there's just a lot going on, man. Uh, so I'm, I don't want to compare. I don't have to compare. I'm just you know. And I'm going to get jumped about the Beach Boys, and I'm going to say that frankly, if you listen to something like you know, Heroes and Villains, or Wouldn't It Be Nice, which is a masterpiece, under-acknowledged what a masterpiece that is, or even Good Vibrations, there is variegation in it that I'm not sure you get in terms of even the high level of production that you get with a lot of hip-hop, because hip-hop has to have that beat and the, and the riffs. There's a repetition that's necessary because it has to be danceable. And you have to have that cadence. It has to be somebody bragging. Whereas even with the Beach Boys, there are all sorts of sentiments that they could explore. Hip hop has to come to the streets and somebody showing that black people are okay. So yeah, it's it's a it's a narrow art form. That doesn't mean though that it's worthless. And I wrote a whole book about it. It was my least successful book for various reasons. But I think if anybody sat through that book, they'd see that I do feel the richness in it. But then again, there is a there. It has its limits to a definite degree. 